वेलकम टू एम्बेडेड सिस्टम लेक्चर सीरीज आई प्रोफेसर रितेश धोलकिया इज गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू सॉफ्टवेयर डेवलपमेंट टूल्स रिक्वायर्ड इन एम्बेडेड सिस्टम सो टू अंडरस्टैंड हाउ मेनी सॉफ्टवेयर डेवलपमेंट टूल्स आर रिक्वायर्ड इन एम्बेडेड सिस्टम वन शुड नो द बेसिक प्रोसेस ऑफ लोडिंग प्रोग्राम इन एम्बेडेड सिस्टम्स मेमरी सो ही आर फर्स्ट आई एक्सप्लेन यू द बेसिक प्रोसेस ऑफ लोडिंग प्रोग्राम in a memory of embedded system and based on that one can understand how many tools are required in embedded system so let us see the basic process now you see first we need to write a program in editor right and that writing program may be there in higher level language and if higher level language is there with editor then that will be generating a source file as output that higher level language may be c c++ java python right so that language is generating a source file and in editor we can have assembly language programming even and that is also generating source file so basically here i have shown two ways by which we can write program one is there in higher level language and second is there in assembly language for that we need editor right and both are generating source file now next is compiler you see as if program is written in higher level language then compiler is used to compile the source file and it will generate object file right so here compiler is used to generate object file from the higher level language source file right and if your program is written in assembly language then assembler is used to assemble source file to generate object file right so here see we need editor we need compiler and we need assembler as a tool to have embedded system now next is linker now you see if we have many object files right and that is what we are deal with to load it in our embedded system then linker is used where linker will be linking library of machine code with our object file and it will be generating executable file or dot hex file so you see linker will link this object files with library library are well defined with machine code and based on that it will be generating dot exe means executable file or dot hex file right now you see this dot exe file that is used for simulation purpose or it can be used for debugging purpose see debugging is used to identify how many errors are there in given program right or how many bugs are there with given program so where we will be using debugger and once we have errorless program we can use simulator to verify our output with software and hardware so for that we have dot exe file and dot hex file dot hex hex file that we use to load our program in memory right so dot hex file that will be given to locator so locator is also one very interesting tool which will be having idea of memory and based on available memory locator will load file in rom based on rom image so you see locator will create rom image based on dot hex file right and this rom image now that we will be going to burn by using rom burner and now our program will get loaded on rom memory so 
if you observe here how many tools are there so here we need to have editor to writing a program we need to have compiler and assembler to generate object file linker is used to link all those object files and it will be generating executable files here locator is used to generate rom image from dot hex file and rom burner is used to load rom image in rom memory so this many tools that we will be using here in embedded system so let us see all those tools one by one so first is editor so that is the first tool which we will be using it in embedded system to write a program right and here we can write program by two ways i have already told you it can be there in higher level language or it can be there in assembly language different types of language that we can use it to code and that is referred as source code for example guinea editor that is there with us to write program and here we can use many languages like c java php html python perl pascal and other many languages are used to generate source code right so first tool is editor to write a program now next tool is compiler now see as earlier i have told as if you have written program in higher level language then source file of higher level language will be given to compiler and that will be generating object file so it is used when source code is done with higher level language and compiler will convert source code into object code object code is understandable by computer right so we can say compiler converts higher level language into lower level language for example klc51 that is what one very popular compiler that students are using to have embedded system so that is what we use it to program 8051 microcontroller now next is assembler now see as i have told if you have written your code in assembly language then we need to have assembler and assembler will be assembling source code of assembly language into object file right so it is used when source code is done with assembly language and it is used to convert assembly language into machine language computer easily understand binary machine language and that is what we can load it in rom memory for example gnu assembler and one should know see when assembly language is used at that time our assembly language programming will be like mo a comma b so mo a comma b is having hex file that is what we will be having after assembler right so for each and every instruction there is well defined hex code and that hex code can get assembled by assembler so we use this gnu assembler in linux operating system now next is linker now see as i have told there can be many object file right and all those object file required to get link with readily available library right so linker will link all these object file with library and it will generate executable file or dot hex file if we have executable file then that will be used for debugger or simulator and if it is there with dot hex file then that is what we can use it for storing that as a rom image right so see linker task is to link different object file with library and it will redefine memory address and after redefining memory address 
it will be generating executable file or .hex file, right? So traditionally, code is written in small pieces and modules. So it is used to combine all those pieces and modules together to make single executable program. For example, GNU ID, so linker example that I have given over here, that is GNU ID. And let us see what happens here. You see there are many source files and that is what translated into object file and once we have object file that we link it by linker with the library so runtime library is there and once we link these object files with library we'll be generating executable program and here we can have dot hex file or dot exe dot executable file dot exe file is used when we want to debug the program and dot hex file is used when we want to load our program in ROM. So linker tool is very essential in embedded system. Now next tool is debugger. Now you see as I have told once we generate dot exe file by linker debugger plays very important role that dot exe file that can be given to debugger debugger will debug that file and by debugging it it can identify error location in the program as well as it is used to identify the bugs present in the program as well as debugger can be used to execute program step by step. So these many functions are there with debugger. So debugger is used to debug the code. We can execute code step by step using debugger. Debugger is also used for testing the code and we can check logical error, syntax error and bugs of the program by using debugger and debugger can identify line number or location of error right for example ida pro debugger that we can have for embedded system and that is what used in linux windows and mac operating system so this is all about debugger now let us see simulator now see simulator is used to simulate dot exe file generated by linker so once we have dot exe file we can give it to simulator it will be executing that and it will be giving you idea about how output is coming as well as it will gives you idea about if you change input parameters then how many changes will happen in output parameters so simulator is used to identify simulation where we can change different parameters of input and we can observe output parameters. So it, combination of hardware and, so, and software can be simulated by simulator and it helps to see the code will work in real life. So user can see how sensors are interacting with each other user can see how components are working and we can see the changes at output by changing different parameters so here we can see how complete system is functioning by using simulator so input to the simulator will be .exe file generated by linker right so simulator is very essential tool now next is locator so see locator is used to load the program in rom right so input to the locator that will be dot hex file generated by linker and output of locator will be rom image 
right so locator is having idea about memory addresses of rom and based on available resources of addresses in rom locator will locate program in rom image right so that is how locator is useful tool so it gives information of memory of target board and it uses information of memory to assign physical address to code it produces output file that contains binary memory image which can be loaded into memory now last one is integrated development environment tool that is referred as ide tool see all the software tools which we have discussed that can be combined together in one platform using ide so if you have a one system which is having all these tools which we have discussed editor assembler compiler locator linker simulator debugger if you combine all these tools right and that is making what ide tool it is also referred as integrated design environment or integrated debugging environment ide tool is having a package and that consists text editor cross compiler linker or debugger and there are many examples of ide tool like mp lab x code eclipse android studio now i'm going to show you some embedded software development tool list so different companies are providing all those like you can see pycharm webstrom qt creator visual studio eclipse netbeams matlab mp lab x id arduino id and arm kale so these are different ide tools which we can use it to have embedded system so i hope you have understood this thank you so much for watching this video if you have any query just place that in comment box i'll be happy to help you